Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host Lovely Cheese Pizza here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Legend of Zelda a Link to the Past. And <laughs> I had a funny moment before I started recording this, by the way. So I'm getting I'm getting everything all set up and I, I start like the recording and the capture. And uh, and I and it took me a minute, like I put my headphones on and and I started, you know, trying to get into everything, and I realized it's like the audio is really loud for some reason. Like, why the fuck is that? And I'm sitting there for at least a couple of minutes trying to figure out why the audio is so loud. I was like, the volume's at the same level that it's always at. Like, what the hell's going on? And it seriously took me over two minutes to realize that my headphones weren't plugged in to the computer at all. <laughs> and so that's why that's why the audio is so loud. I was like, what the hell? So, I think I might be getting dumb, you guys. I, I might slowly be getting just a little bit dumb at an alarmingly fast rate. <laughs> so, eh, it's all pretty bad. But you know what? We're, we're going to make it work out for us, so it's totally cool. So, my friends, you're probably asking yourselves, what the hell are we going to do today? Well, this is what we're going to do. Last episode, we were able to knock out Misery Mire, which is great. That is one chapter in my life I never have to go revisit again, except for when I decide to play this again at some other point in my life. And we're going to head up to uh, Dungeon 7, Turtle Rock, which is another place that is just full of fucking hullabaloo and tomfoolery. And uh, it's, it's not a place that I enjoy. It's very magic intensive. But the problem is we can't go there right now, because there is an item that we need that I totally forgot to get. A long time ago and it's the only item that we don't currently have right now and it is the quake medallion so it's uh, something that we're gonna go pick up right now I could have totally gotten it back when we got the hammer that's uh, that's how long ago we could have uh, we could have gotten this thing but I just totally spaced it for some reason I thought it was in the light world and uh, and well it's definitely not there <laughs> So, it's in the same area that, you know, it's, I thought that I could, like, what I was thinking is that I could have gotten it way back when I went and got the Zora Slippers, but definitely not that early. Um, but it's, it's in the same area that I thought it would have been, if that were the case, but you have to be in the Dark World for it, so. It's not that bad, though, you just go stroll your way right up over here, and, uh, just, uh, saunter your way down into this little little nook down here. You're like, yeah, what the hell's going on here? You grab this big old skull and walk into this area and throw the skull in the hole, you know? And then you cause an earthquake. <laughs> this guy comes out and he's like, oh, god damn it! Was it you who disturbed my peaceful nap? I'll give this to you if you go away. You don't understand what you've done. I was having the, the world's greatest sex dream! I don't even know if I can even recall this thing now! You... Oh, damn it! <laughs> I hope they have like some type of sleep machine that you can like enter the own your own dreams that you want to have in and it'll beam it into your head. That'll be some type of... Uh, that'll be some type of technology we'll have later on, I'll bet. You just, uh, you're like, yeah, well, you know, I want to I wanna be able to have a dream about, you know, winning the lottery and getting uh, you know everything I ever wanted and then like you know skydiving out of a out of a plane without a parachute and landing on my feet and uh, you know and then I'm surrounded by beautiful women or something like that that sounds like one of those uh, one of those most interesting man in the world type of things he's able to parachute out of uh, he's able he's able to parachute out of a plane without a parachute and he still lands on both feet you know, completely uninjured or whatever. Which I found out, by the way, like, like, not that long ago, that they totally don't have the same guy anymore. The the guy, I, th I think his name was like Jonathan Goldsmith, was the guy that w that did the original Dos Equis Most Interesting Man in the World commercials, and they totally like, got, like quote unquote killed him off. <laughs> it's 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 weird. And so the guy that they have now is is fucking strange. Like he doesn't fit at all. Like. The guy, the, the guy that was the original most interesting man in the world, like, he was like a really, like, dapper gentleman type guy, and he, you know, he had, like, all the, like, all the sayings, and, and, uh, it was, like, all, like, you know, ultra-philosophical and whatever, and, uh, and it was just, he was like, he was like the guy that everybody's super envious of, 
And then the guy that they brought in to... The guy that they brought in to replace him, he just looks like... He looks like a just kind of a grungy, kind of like Mexican Michael Phelps looking guy, or like a Hispanic Michael Phelps. It just doesn't, he doesn't fit the mold at all. It's, it's, it's so weird. And he just like, he, his hair's like all like oily and grungy looking. He, he looks like, he looks like a, like a Miami, like a, like a Miami cop that like strangled a guy <laughs> he like strangled a guy in one of the interrogation rooms or something and uh, and so they put him they put him on uh, they put him on like unpaid restriction for like five years and then they eventually just fired him which they wouldn't put you on unpaid restriction for five years but it, it, it fits the story right now for like five years and then you know somebody somebody someday that's working for the force is like dude what the hell happened to jonathan what i haven't even seen him in like five years or like well I, you know, he, he lives in a he lives in a houseboat down at down at the docks and they go down there and they like knock on the door and he just comes sauntering out in like a in like a just a plain shirt and like these gross ass khakis with extra long hair and it's all greasy and shit like that's what that's what he looks like to me he, he just looks like a greasy guy that just kind of you know came out of the annals of society or whatever um and so yeah it just it just doesn't fit to me like that's that's kind of the big deal so here we are here we are by the way we're here at turtle rock i just kind of appeared here all of a sudden so this place extremely magic intensive like it would be a wise choice and i know i didn't do it it'd be a wise choice for you to have like a jar of magic uh, and if you haven't, if you haven't halved your magic by now, or, or doubled it, I suppose, uh, you really need to do that. Uh, I, like, and especially if you're gonna try to do it like I am without, you know, a jar of additional magic, you really need to do that, otherwise you're basically fucked. <laughs> it's just that there are certain areas in here that it gets way too ridiculous. Especially when we have to use the fire rod, it's, uh, yeah. So, yeah, dude, it, it was it was weird, and so I actually, like, watched the commercial that they, you know, quote-unquote killed him off with, and, uh, it was, it was weird. Like, it was, it was fitting. It just, it seemed kind of weird that that's how they were gonna, you know, go along and do it, was, uh, they decided to have him go on a, on a one-way, like, a one-way flight to Mars, is essentially what they did. And, uh, so, you know, they got him, like, out in the middle of the desert, and his rocket ship is out there, and there's just, like, all these crowds of people that are, you know, there to, to send him off or whatever. And there's, like, a whole bunch of various commercials of, like, these random people that, you know, kind of tell little stories about, you know, their encounters or whatever. Um, but it's, it's weird. And so, I, I actually, like, I went, I went by, and I went to, uh... I went and looked at like some of his old quotes, and I forgot how I forgot how funny like some of the things the narrator said in the commercial. They were they're kind of they're kind of similar to like Chuck Norris type of things, and so I wrote down a couple of them that I thought were funny, <laughs> or just like favorite ones of mine. There was uh, aliens ask him to probe them, and uh, let's see. He can speak. Uh, he can speak fluent Spanish in Russian. <laughs> That's one of my favorite ones. He can speak Spanish in Russian. <laughs> it's not even possible. <laughs> oh my god! I think that was. I think that one's great. I really don't want to grab these. I mean, they're just gonna stay. They're just gonna disappear eventually. But, um, but yeah. Then there's uh, he bowls overhand. The the bowling overhand one. I think is 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 fantastic. And then there's, he has crossed the point of no return multiple times. <laughs> and, uh, let's see. Oh, this is one of my favorite ones. Um, panhandlers give him money. <laughs> that one's so funny. Like, panhandlers, they're people that are broke. They just, they don't have any money. But when they see him, they totally just give him their money. <laughs> I think that's, I think that's hilarious. They just give him their money. Oh boy! And then another one that I thought was good was uh, if he mail if he mailed a letter without postage, it would still get there. <laughs> oh, it's funny to me. It's it's good. So I don't know, man. Like I I don't really know how I feel just yet about this whole new most interesting man in the world guy. I mean, who knows? Maybe he'll be good. Maybe he won't. 
but I'm I'm not I'm not gonna get my hopes up for it. Is is what I'm going to say about that. Really need to hurry with this door right now. You really need to hurry up with this right now before they go out. Come on, come on. Oh damn it! <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to find a quicker way to do that. I think I know when to do it. Okay, I know when to do it. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna do it when I come around this corner. When I come around. Okay, so we're gonna do that one. Oh god, it's still not gonna work. I needed to do it right there. That's when I needed to do it. God, I hate that I have to go all the way around this again. It's just not gonna do it. Shit. Yeah, the whole thing was messed up. The whole thing was off. Okay. This is this is how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna have to use up a lot of magic for it, but we're, we're gonna do it. I mean, we'll definitely get comp for it later. It's gonna be fine. It's not like I've totally, you know, fucked up the whole thing or something. Okay, so this one, we'll take care of those. And then we'll do this one, and then this one. That's how it needs to be done. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. God damn it. This place. Oh, the spike roller. <laughs> it's such a strange it's such a strange item in here. <laughs> like like it's the only place that you really encounter these. It just doesn't seem like it fits in this at all. But hey, who who am I to judge? So now we now we've got the old uh, the old map there, and then we got this. But yeah, so uh, the other thing with that most interesting man in the world thing is like the guy that replaced him. Like I've already seen I've seen one of the commercials now. Like I watched one of them to see if they still do like the same type of narration stuff, and it's not really the same at all. Like they've they've kind of almost adopted a brand new formula. They just really. Trying to make a like a whole new identity for this guy, and I really hope that doesn't like tank their uh, you know their 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 uh, their business because like with the whole most interesting man in the world campaign, like they brought they brought like brand recognition with that from like from like seventeen percent like up to like ninety or something like that. Like that's an obscenely high number. Uh, it was kind of like when they when they brought the Geico duck in, like the Geico duck. Um, like, Geico wasn't even really, like, a poppin' off brand at that point, but as soon as, you know, they, they, uh, they started doing that whole thing, it totally changed the game. I mean, it completely changed. I don't have a key here. How in the hell am I supposed to do this? Can I even kill those guys? I don't even know if I can even kill those guys. Uh, uh-oh. This isn't good. Where am I supposed to find another key at? Dude, this is why I hate this place. It's awful. Um, I'm gonna say let's try Quake. There's gotta be some way to kill these things in order to get a key. That's the problem with this place, man, is there's, there's so many things that I don't remember about how this dungeon works. So we'll have to figure it out. Something tells me that it involves having to move a block. That's that's what I'm thinking. Oh god. These things hurt so bad. That's also not helping any. No oh, shit. Ugh. Should have known. It's okay. We have a, we have a fairy though. So we'll we'll be right back at it again. Okay. Aha. -ha! Okay, so I was right. Okay. Don't don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. You leave me alone. I just want the chest in the middle of the room. I don't want anything, I don't want to disrupt anything you got going on there. You know, whatever type of feng shui you got going on with the room here, I'm sorry I had to throw it off, but you're not giving me a choice here. Come on, there we go. You know, as soon as I leave, you can go back over there and, and move the damn block over if it's really one of those types of things for you. And we can totally turn this thing back into a fairy. Yeah! By the way, whenever whenever I see this room, it always makes me think of it always makes me think of Discovery Zone. I don't know if a lot of you guys will remember that, but uh, Discovery Zone was the was the balls, man. I love Discovery Zone. Um, that place was just like 
the place was the jam, and like I used to have, we used to, like a lot of my friends used to have birthdays there, and uh, I just remember like every time I saw this room, I was like, oh, those remind me of like the tubes at Discovery Zone, or even like the play places at McDonald's where they just give you like those, you know, tunnels that you can crawl around in and, and whatever, and uh, it just reminds me of of one time at Discovery Zone, it was it was one of my friend's birthdays there, and uh, and they, you know, there were like, you know, there were the, the tunnels that you crawl around in, and uh, we were trying to find, you know, one of our friends that had gone in there, and he hadn't come out in a little while. So we're like, well, we're like, uh, where, where'd he go? And so we start looking around for him, and uh, we've, and we've found him in, in like the, in the middle of one of these tunnels. There's like a little like hub where you can choose to go between a couple different ones, and uh, <laughs> we're like. We, uh, we found him because he was like, he was like starting to crawl back and his face was super, super red. And we're like, dude, what, what's, uh, what, what's, what's going on? Like, why, it's like, why is your face so red? He's just like, don't go in the middle. We're like, why, why not? Like, what, what happened in there? And he's like, he's like, just don't go in there. And so, you know, being kids, you gotta be, you know, extra, you know, you gotta be extra inquisitive about stuff like that. And you gotta be kind of sleuthy and, and you know, figure, figure it out for yourself. And so, you know, I go, I go crawling a little bit further into that thing and I get into that little room where, you know, where he was at and he totally, totally just fucking pissed everywhere in there. And he totally took a shit in there too. <laughs> like he totally just decided, you know what, instead of just crawling out, it's not like it was even that far away. It's like, instead of crawling out and just going to the bathroom, he totally just, you know, dropped trow in there and just took a full scale, just complete, like, you know, alcoholic diarrhea, you know? It was, oh, it was so disgusting. But man, was it funny. Like, we gave him no end of shit for that. And, like, I kind of feel bad for him now about that, because, like, you're, like, eight or nine years old. Like, obviously, you know, you're definitely, you're definitely, you know, potty trained and shit at that point, but... I mean, sometimes, you know, at that age, like, you don't know how to deal with, uh, with stressful situations as well, and so you kind of get into one of those moments where you're like, oh my god, I don't know what to do! <laughs> you know, you kind of, kind of lose your, your sanity a little bit there. Um, okay. What I need to figure out is how to get to, uh, this other, this other area, this other, this other pipe or Rooney here. Is there any... Any stuff under here? No. Already, already dealt with it. Okay, so... Uh, gross. Felt pretty good, though. We need... Where... Where's the room with the, uh... Okay, it's actually probably over there. We'll have to figure that out. Alright, you know what? I think that this is gonna be a pretty good place to stop for right now. Um, but... When we come back my friends on the next installment of let's play the legend of zelda a link to the past we are going to take a crack at figuring out more of this dungeon it this is another dungeon i believe kind of in a similar way that we had to do in uh in the second dungeon of the game the like the desert palace or whatever it was where we're gonna have to like exit the dungeon and then like re-enter it in another place if i remember correctly i, I could be wrong on that but i feel like that's something that we have to do so when we come back the next time around, we're gonna we're gonna take a crack at figuring that out. So until then, my friends, this is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. I just realized I went the wrong way. We need to go back. <laughs> so we'll do that next time. Bye, everybody. Take care. <laughs>